What's up everybody, my name is Eugene Connor. I go by GUFPV in the freestyle drone community. Today, I'm looking at the FX ND4 GoPro Hero lens cover. You get the ND4 lens cover as well as a clear lens cover for low light situations. Um, just comes with a film that you easily peel off, peel off and then you fix directly to the GoPro after cleaning it with both a wet and dry wipe. This is what it looks like after it's been fixed. As you can see, the benefit to having a self-adhesive cover is that one, you get protection for the already installed glass without adding any extra real estate to the sides like some of the snap-on uh, ND filters. With that being said, if you run a GoPro mount, you don't have to worry about ordering a mount that specifically adds real estate for an ND filter. One example that I have here. So this is the BMC 3D GoPro Hero mount for the Armaton Chameleon Ti, which I have here. Um, <clears throat> this one is not one that is meant for an added ND filter, um, but it is really good sturdy mount. But with this on, I can still just go ahead and install. One thing I like about this mount is that it has front protection that you can just clip on. And as you can see there, even though there's no slot for an ND filter, it's still on there with no issues and it's protected. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out in the field, weather permitting today, going to a haunted bridge. Okay, maybe I should explain myself first. A couple weeks ago, I was flying at my local park when suddenly I could see in the goggles, I was being approached by one of the park workers. Was I getting kicked out? I had been flying here for over a year and never had a problem. I came in for a landing and to my surprise... Thought it was you, man. <laughs> What's going on? I'm good, man. How are you? Ah, I'm all right. How's everything, my friend? Been good. Been good. I met you uh, in Divine. Right. Like, uh, like you guys were parked underneath the trees, right? Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Felix was a guy I'd met six months ago at Divine Lake. He subscribed to my channel that day and had been watching my content ever since. He put me on to some spots up in Colleen, about 45 minutes north from where I live. But he had one request that he specifically wanted to see. A haunted site called the Maxdale Bridge. I told him I'd check it out, so Felix, this one's for you. There are a number of rumors surrounding both the Maxdale Bridge and the adjacent cemetery, which include stories of witches being buried at the site, glowing tombstones. There's a story about a man who hung himself from the bridge after he couldn't save his girlfriend from drowning in the river below. One story I read from multiple sources is of a school bus full of children that fell through the bridge, killing everyone on board. There are also various stories about what happens when you pull up to the bridge and honk your horn, like breathing mysteriously appearing on your window or hearing the sounds of crying women or children. People come from all over to visit the site, but now there are also issues with vandalism being caused by trespassers to the cemetery. I was here during the day and it didn't really seem too intimidating, but I could surely see how scary this place would be at night. So, uh, the rain has slowed down a bit. Hopefully, it will have slowed down enough that I'll be able to rip some. 
I don't know. This wasn't necessarily a smart decision, but my time's limited. And I knew there was a chance it might be clear at some point, so fingers crossed. So I met a guy here who was taking pictures at the bridge. And uh, he used to be a ghost hunter. <laughs> And uh, he said that this bridge is the real deal, that it really is haunted. He doesn't know a lot about the story, but yeah, he's heard a lot of freaky stuff, both here and the cemetery across the street. I don't know what the deal is with these crosses. Like I said, they weren't here before, but who knows if the locals around here like to, I don't know, play up the spot make it more appealing to those who travel to see it but it has a reputation um, the guy that was here he was here for that very reason as well so hopefully nothing scary happens Woo! <laughs> this little guy whoa I think we're done here